It's an emotional week for many across the valley as we prepare to mark the one year anniversary of the April 27th tornadoes. Yeah, the storms took the lives of many and changed the lives of many others. Many are going to reflect on everything they lost, including their loved ones. WFF 48 Shamiria Ratliff caught up with one family who reflects on the loss of their home and their family members one year later. Shamiria. The Cornwell family says it's been a difficult week and a difficult year for them. They say so many things happened that day, not just losing their home, but their family as well. April 27th, 2011. You know, I remember vaguely details when we woke up trying to make sense of where we were at because it didn't look anything like where we were. A day that Misty Cornwell and her mother Cheryl Smith will never forget. They've spent the last year trying to heal. It's been, it's been bad. I mean, there's good days and there's bad days and there's a lot more bad days than good days. When the tornado blew through Orville Smith Road last April, it destroyed the Cornwells' home and took the lives of Misty's 15-year-old daughter Katie and her dad Harold Fitzgerald, who they called Butch. And we just kept saying over and over again, I love you, I love you, I love you. And it just got so hard to hold on. Um, I remember letting go of my dad. I remember letting go of Katie. I remember dropping Bentley. And after that, I remember hitting the tree. And it's just, that's something I think about every day. I know I can change it. But if I'd held on tighter, would it made a difference? Now, one year later, the family is trying to deal with the emotional memories all over again. It was Katie's birthday without her. Then it was Easter without her, without my dad. And then, you know, we have Friday. And it's not a day that you can say it's a marking because it's not a day you can celebrate because there's nothing to celebrate other than you know, some of us made it and they didn't. The family says every day is a struggle, but they're still trying to find peace. Any minute I could really fall apart. They say that will come, but there's a lot of healing that's gonna have to, I think, come before you find all that. And that's all, because I still don't understand why. A memorial to remember Katie and Butch will be held this Saturday from two until four. For more information on this memorial, visit our website, waff.com. Mark.